Dad, your health hasn't been so good lately. You need to eat better. You do need to eat better. I'll make some chicken soup for you. When you're sick, you need to eat more meat so you can recover faster and not get sick so easily. Will eating more animal based foods make you less vulnerable to illness? Most people mistakenly believe that animal based foods are more nutritious and therefore better for boosting immunity. However, this concept is only applicable in the past when there was widespread poverty and famine. Today, in the modern time, cardiovascular diseases are rampant because of excessive meat intake. Is eating meat bad for us? Animal based foods tend to be high in cholesterol and fat. Which can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. According to the World Health Organization, about 17.9 million people die from cardiovascular diseases worldwide each year. Red meat contains N glycolonuraminic acid, a non human sialic acid sugar molecule that promotes inflammation in the body and lowers the body's immune defense. The hormones in animal based foods are linked to certain cancers, and the fat and calorie content of these foods are high, so people tend to gain weight when they eat too much animal based foods. About 9.6 million people die from cancer worldwide each year. Research has shown that 40% of cancers are associated with unhealthy diets. Can we get enough nutrition from eating just plant foods? Of course. All the nourishment that your immune system needs can be found in plant foods. What's more, plants contain an abundance of phytochemicals, which isn't found in animal based foods. Plant foods also have polysaccharides and antioxidants. Compared to animal based foods, plant foods can better increase our ability to resist disease. Ben, Anna, you need to eat more meat to get enough protein. I love meat. Meat is nutritious. If you eat more, you will grow up strong. Most people think that only meat and dairy products contain protein, and that there is little protein in plant foods. Actually, the protein content in some plant foods is even higher than that of meat. For example, soy has double the protein of meat, triple that of eggs, and 12 times that of milk. Is the protein in animals and plants the same? I've heard that meat protein is better absorbed by your body than plant protein. According to a joint recommendation by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the World Health Organization, the quality and digestibility of soy protein is on par with that of animal protein. The American Diabetes Association has also pointed out that plant based protein is one of the best sources of protein for diabetics, and it does not burden the kidneys. Soy is not only rich in protein, it also does not have the problem of animal based foods, such as being high in fat and calories. Furthermore, soy contains an abundance of phytonutrients. Ben, could you help me pour a cup of milk? I drink three cups every day. Milk has the highest calcium content. Drinking more milk can help prevent osteoporosis. Ben, you have to drink more milk so you can grow taller. Does milk contain the highest calcium content? No, it doesn't. Calcium is also found in plants. 100 grams of spinach contains 136 milligrams of calcium. 100 grams of soybeans contains 277 milligrams of calcium, double that of milk. 100 milliliters of milk only contains 113 milligrams of calcium. Think about it. Two of the largest land mammals, the elephant and the giraffe, both eat grass. If plants don't contain calcium, how do these animals grow so big and tall? But there are so many advertisements. That s a y milk can strengthen our bones and prevent osteoporosis. No studies have shown that drinking milk can prevent osteoporosis. In fact, according to a study published in the American Journal of Public Health, women who drank milk had a higher risk of hip and forearm fractures. Research by Harvard University noted 
that dairy products may not be effective in preventing osteoporosis. Statistics also showed that the rates of osteoporosis are higher in countries with a diet rich in meat, milk, and eggs. Will taking calcium supplements help me increase my bone density quickly? No, it will not. This is because the body is only capable of absorbing a small amount of calcium. According to the BMJ, bone mineral density only increases about 1-2% to each year with dietary calcium intake. So where does the calcium from calcium supplements go if it's not helping my bones? Supplements deliver one big dose of calcium to our bodies. That means a sudden surge of calcium going into the bloodstream to get wherever it needs to go. An overdose of calcium does have side effects. A report published in the BMJ found that calcium supplements increase the risk of myocardial infarction by about 30%. Unlike supplemental calcium, wholesome plant foods contain other nutrients in addition to calcium. Plant foods will not trigger a sudden increase in the calcium levels in your blood and will not burden your blood vessels. Wholesome plant foods contain phytonutrients like protein, calcium, and much more. They don't cause the problems of animal-based foods, such as high cholesterol and obesity. Plant foods help prevent disease and boost immunity. So what should we eat to be healthy? Eat less animal-based foods and more plant foods. Research published in the International Journal of Epidemiology states that daily consumption of 800 grams of fruits and vegetables may reduce risk of cardiovascular diseases and cancer, and about 7.8 million premature deaths worldwide could be prevented yearly. All of the nutrients that our immune system needs can be found in plants, not in animal-based foods. Nutritional Immunology studies the relationship between nutrition and the immune system. The nutritional treasure trove we seek can be found in the wide variety of fruits and vegetables in the supermarket.